The flags of the state capitol are flying at half staff this weekend to honor a firefighter who died battling a wildfire along the western edge of Yosemite National Park. 36 year old Braden Varney was a heavy equipment operator who had been with Cal Fire for 10 years. Reporter Angelica Leilani on the family and community he leaves behind. He was just such a nice young man, so kind and sweet, and had a beautiful young family. Cal Fire officials say Braden was in a heavy bulldozer similar to this one. They say his job consisted of going through and pushing everything out of the way from the fire line to help create a buffer. Cal Fire says his dozer went down into a steep, rough terrain area and rolled down into a canyon off a rich top. He just took pride in what his work was, what the work he could do. Janetta Phillips, a Mariposa native, has known Braden for nearly 20 years. She says the community is feeling the loss, with Braden leaving behind his wife and two young children. He was a really good dad, you know, and uh, the kids, it's just going to be, I don't know, the community will step in and help where they can. Cal Fire says Braden was a bulldozer operator for a little more than 10 years, following in the footsteps of his father, who lost his battle to cancer a few years back. Firefighters know this is a dangerous job but we don't ever want to lose one of them. So uh, we just thank everybody for their support. The Ferguson fire has now exploded in size to 4,000 acres and is just 2% contained at this hour. A 20-mile stretch of Highway 140 is closed between Mid Pines and El Portal. Evacuation orders have been issued for the communities of Jerseydale and Mariposa Pines along with Ferguson Ridge Road, the Savages Trading Post, Cedar Lodge, and Red Bud Lodge. Right now, there's still a lot of he heavy equipment in here. We're trying to protect the structures at Cedar Lodge and some of the other private in holdings in this area. Um, that's our primary focus now is structure protection. The Yosemite West area is currently under an evacuation advisory, and people in lodges and motels near the park are being told to be ready to leave if necessary.